I became, once I decided on that, I was relieved. I was really relieved because I had a name and yeah. I had an explanation. Not having that explanation was, was, was actually terrifying. terrifying. Yeah. 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 No way. Like did that, like again, was, was, was that scary? How did how did that make you feel? So yeah, after that seizure, yeah, uh, basically the good next, you know, section and parts of the final, the third section are, mm -hmm. are done because from friends and family and doctors' perspective. So not from my perspective. So it's really not a memoir in a lot of ways because. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that was really an interesting experience for me was to hear some of those things and. There was this inclination to hear because there, you know, at one point I pushed an old lady out of the way when I bought a coffee, oh. <laughs> and I heard that and I was like, no, yeah. but it happened, and I did it, and it's terrible, and I really wanted to, you know, I wanted to say that can't, I couldn't have couldn't possibly done that, but I did, you know, and I heard I kicked in a bunch of nurses, you know, I, I was a terrible patient, and it was in a way, it was a combination of things. It was almost like looking at a train wreck. That I wanted to hear it all, yeah. and then you'd remind yourself, oh, it's me. It's not me. I did this, but it wasn't really me because I wasn't really. I know. So I had to kind of grapple with like wanted. Oh, this will be great for the book, you know. Yeah. <laughs> this is gonna be a great thing for the book, and also being like, oh, am I capable of doing something like that? So there were a lot of moments that were like kind of like, who am I? You know, what is this person who can do this? Uh, and that was, there, you know, it's fun. It's interesting because in interviewing different people kind of brought out different versions of me. With Stephen, like that seizure scene, every time he tells me he cries, mm -hmm. so he and he's like PTSD from that. I mean, he really was affected by it in a very mm -hmm. you know damaging way. But you know that was something that when you talk about it was really painful, and it wasn't something I experienced really. I you know I'm experiencing it really secondhand from him, you know. But it was so painful for him. It, it's given me that he's like given me that pain. Now when I even read it, I get a little like ooh, you know, like, yeah. it makes me feel uncomfortable, you know. Thank God um, he's there. Yeah. Well, I think about the fact that I really, what I really wanted to do that night was to walk around the city. Mm -hmm. I wanted to walk outside, and I thought, I thought I would have been walking the city by myself. You know, mm -hmm. who knows what would have happened? Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I know of a girl. I don't know if you read the if you read the paperback. I but it had an extra chapter mm -hmm. about the girl who in New York. Mm -hmm. She had a seizure in the movie theater. So I just, I mean, she's lucky to have a movie theater. There's so many people there. You know, you think just walking on the streets by yourself at night. You know, mm -hmm. I think. You know, I don't know, you know, so many things that it could have been way worse. And again, you know, kind of leads me back to my feeling that I'm 